This video is for Nikki Nick352. I changed the clutch, uh, the slave uh, clutch cylinder, uh, which is that. And uh, by the way, uh, Nick, I have a 2005 Altima. This is a 2005 Altima. It's probably the same engine. I think uh, it might be. Uh, or similar engines to, uh, I know you have a Nissan too, but uh, the system might be similar. I'm not too sure. But uh, that's where it goes right there. And the problem is still, I'm still having the same problem. Although the clutch is a little bit better now. Um, it's a little bit more sturdy. As you can see, this one was broken. So that's uh, naturally uh, by placing that new one over there. The clutch is going to be a little bit uh, more sturdy or a little bit more hard, right? But it's still losing pressure, so it's still going down. So I think I'm going to have to change that piece over there. I don't know if you could see it from right here. I don't know if you could see it, but that's going to be the clutch master cylinder down there. And that's where the brake fluid goes for the uh, clutch master cylinder. So I'm going to have to change that. But uh, let me show you uh what uh the clutch is actually doing i'm gonna show you what the clutch is actually doing yo what's up nick uh nicky nick 352 so by the way it does have fluid okay just so you can know this is the clutch right here and check it out it, it i press it down and it just go it it goes all the way in and now this is already with the new cl uh slave cylinder uh new slave uh clutch cylinder so what i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do and i think it's gonna fix it um I'm going to have to uh, change the master clutch cylinder. So I could still drive it like this, but I, I, just, I, I have to uh, kick out the, I have to kick out the, the, the clutch with my foot. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to take it for a, for a quick drive. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a spin. turn it on right there. stays in so I gotta do this maneuver right there so let's go ahead and put it in gear see and it's not getting I don't know if you could hear it but the, the gear is not kicking in that's not kicking in so what I gotta do is press it hard and now it kicks in that's reverse right there so I gotta kick it hard for it for for the gear to kick in so let's go ahead and go forward a little bit that uh the first gear kicked in quite smoothly uh as you can see that uh, the gear is engaging so that's pretty good now let's put it in neutral and look it's it stays down so i gotta i gotta do that maneuver right there you know, so it's kind of, uh, it's tedious and it's dangerous actually when you're driving because uh, you always have to be kicking it out constantly. So let's, let's see there. It's not getting, the reverse is not getting. So let's go ahead and kick it hard. And there, and once I kick it hard, the gear, uh, the gear kick, uh, kicks in. So let's go ahead. It's working right there fine. Uh, first, there seems to be no problem with the uh, first uh, kicking in. Everything's working fine right there. Okay, let's take it for a quick spin. Let's take it for a quick spin over here. You see, I gotta kick it out, which is dangerous. second gear that's pretty good then i gotta stick it out again with my foot but once again uh you don't really need a clutch whenever you're already whenever you start the vehicle and you're going you could just uh um through the rpms uh you could just change gears based based on the rpm so once uh you know so once you get uh so once you get going uh you don't really need a clutch anymore um so let's see here right here is not the clutch the first gear is not kicking in so i push it in hard and it kicks in and and the danger here is that uh, i have to uh there i gotta you know i gotta kick it back out with my foot 
or else the, the car is gonna stall on me, right? So uh, it's dangerous for you to be driving with a clutch like this. So, uh, Nicky Nick352, I hope that this video was of help for you. I'm, I still need to change the uh, clutch master cylinder and hopefully that fixes a problem for you. So maybe by you changing the clutch master cylinder and uh, the slave cylinder, that will fix your problem. And I know that that's, that's what's recommended, but I decided just to change the slave cylinder because I thought that, that was going to fix it. So that was my bad. I should have bought the clutch master cylinder. Also, I hope this helped you. And if you want me to make the other video uh, changing the clutch master cylinder, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not done so. And like, share. Thank you so much.